episode 4. But before we start, I have an announcement. We will be having a builder's question and answer for our next video. Post your building related questions in viral code. I will try to answer as much as possible. Back to it. We will now introduce you to designing. But this episode will be focused on blending. Let's start! Color is one of the main factors that define the vibe of the world. In fact, it has the greatest impact. So planning it is really important. Making a color palette before starting the build can be so helpful. It identifies which blocks and colors you are limited to. Which is great, because we don't want your world to overcolor. Overcoloring results to having a messy render world. I'll explain further. We will turn this monochromatic world into bicolor palette. I will start by painting our main block the first color of our choice. I want to do bubblegum colors, that's why I use cyan to be matched with pink. We can now start painting the other block our secondary color, which is pink. Now it's all done! We can now proceed with painting our vegetations. We want to achieve two colors only for my world, but as you might have noticed, these two trees do not match our ground color. So we will paint them as well. Tricolor roads might work too, but for me, green doesn't blend well with cyan and pink. Now let's talk about overcoloring your world. In color blending, we normally follow a bicolor or tricolor limit, and we exclude our neutral colors from that. And it turns to overcoloring when you surpass this limit that you set. As an example, in this build, we can't use topiary hedge or winter hedges even if you wanted so much to show off that, you know, rich builders. You know why? Because they are not in our color palette. Okay, we're almost done. As said earlier, we can't put colors that are not included in our color palette, like these green bushes. So I will change this to something that blends more. Corals are the answer. Surprised? Maybe you were expecting something from Clash, but no. Let me clear something that might be out of topic but is really helpful. It's not about how expensive your blocks are. It's about how you use your blocks overall. And yeah, we're finally done. You can add neutral colors to excite the world a little. And with that, we will now proceed to Block Blending. You should first remember, do not overblend. It's always a real pain in the eyes if you overdo your blending. It's chaotic and messy. I recommend setting only 2 to 4 blocks for your terrains and a different set for your structure blocks. For the terrains, there should only be one block as main blocks, one for adding depth, level, or shadings, one as rock, and the other one is optional. And don't mix this with your detailed blocks. As said from the last discussion, it's good to have limits. And what I mean by that is, you should identify just the blocks to be used. Set a different set of blocks for your terrains, different for your structures, and different for the details. Here's a clip of me explaining that. We will be using Serra del Sol Planner because it gives us more efficiency. We will begin by placing our main blocks which is monochromatic dirt. Although I'm just sliding the blocks, 
and still try to be intricate about the shape of our landform. This is why the additional blocks are added one by one. Alright, we can now add our spiky thingies. And after this, we will be using block glue to blend this with our main block. And we will now be painting them. As you might have noticed, we have used the same block and color palette as the same we used before. But take note that this also applies to other block combinations you will be using. Alright, let's now add our trees and vegetations. I will be showing you a magic trick. With the power of my magical voice, these trees will instantly grow. Poof! Astonishing, isn't it? We will now proceed to adding the crystal trees and our corals. We'll use black glue as well and paint them. And that's basically how you do it right, the not over blended way. Just for the final touches. Now this is how you over blend your world. We'll start off with the same landform as before. And we will paint the spike thingies for now. Well done! Now this is where the wrong part goes. Some people tend to add their vegetation blocks with their main blocks just to add texture to their landform. And at the worst case scenario, they will also add all blocks that are the same color with their main blocks. And that's basically how you overblend your landform, which is also apparently the best way to waste your world blocks. We will still add the tree so we can show you how messy this looks like. Let's now call for my magical voice. Poof. Now we will be doing our final touches and that's it. Congratulations on having a messy world and being broke. If you learned something, don't forget to like this video and share it to your friends. Goodbye! Wait, wait, wait! I need to inform you guys about the Builders Discord server that we are hosting. For those interested, contact me by my Discord tag. For real now, see you in the next episode!